animal can digest. So it's important. So those three factors are very important. So we have to mimic nature. I've got a slide here on the Lua Plains in Western Zambia. We have we have a villibus herd or hundreds of thousands of animals moving around. Why do they do that? In nature, you've got wild, you've got predators like lion and hyena. And if you were a buffalo or a villibus, where would you feel safest? And the largest herd there is right in the middle of that herd. So what predators do? Keep animals bunched together, and they move around. They bunch together like at the dung and urinate, they trample, they break up a soil surface, they contaminate the soil in terms of uh, the grass quality, and the animals have to move. So automatically they're moving onto fresh grazing all the time. And they only come back when that grass is recovered. Almost, those large herds will come back when the grass is recovered. But you'll still have other animals grazing there all the time. So grasses in Africa in particular have developed in a situation where they need high impact and non-selective grazing, but they can also survive selective grazing over a short period of time. So it can still happen. But what is lacking is a high impact. These large herds, concentrated herds, that break up the soil, that graze non-selectively, and they move on. So that is what we have to uh, mimic. And currently we can only mimic that very effectively and very uh, economically by using portable electric fences or a combination of static electric fences with portable electric fences in between. And I've got a diagram here that shows how you do the control. Basically, you have strips uh, 50 meters or, 100 meters or 200 meters wide that may be a kilometer or two long. And you have the animals in those strips, but you subdivide those strips with crosswise. So that is how you keep the density very high. So you might have a thousand, the equivalent of 100 animals and one tenth of a hectare. That would be the equivalent to 1,000 animals a hectare. So that, that would be more or less the minimum stocking rate or stock density that you, that you would require. In more humid environments with poor quality grazing, you'd have to go to a higher stocking rate, about 3,000 uh, uh, animals per hectare. That doesn't mean to have, you have to have 3,000 cows per hectare, but you can have 300 cows on the tenth of a hectare, would be the equivalent of a stocking, stock density of 3,000. So there's a difference between stocking rate and stock density. Stocking rate is the overall animals you have in a piece of land. Stock density is that density of animals at a particular time. And by doing that, you move them constantly. By constantly moving them, they're going into fresh grazing all the time. So the best way to utilize all your grass is to have as many animals in a small area for a short period of time, and then give that area an appropriate recovery time. And the appropriate recovery time depends on your environment as well. If it's an arid environment, arid, dry, you would have a long recovery period, which might be months or years, 18 months, maybe, two years, depending on where you are. If you're in a humid environment, like parts of Latin America and parts of Africa, then the appropriate recovery at certain times would be much quicker, shorter recovery, to allow better nutrition, because the longer you stay, uh, the uh, grass is allowed to grow. In humid environments, the lower the quality becomes, the higher the fiber. So at certain times of year, like when your cows are calving and they're breeding, then they need higher requirements. So during those times, you might shorten the grazing period, the recovery period rather. So they come back earlier to an area that hasn't recovered totally, but very high quality. And those areas that you do graze intensively like that, you alternate between years. So it's very important to understand that. And another factor that would be important to understand, because uh, body condition is a challenging factor, under non-selective grazing. Another factor would be to allow your high requirement animals in small groups, like if it's preferential grazing, they can graze ahead of the cows. The cows can come behind and do the, do the work, do the managing, do the trampling and the non-selective grazing. But that high impact non-selective grazing, at least once in a short, period, uh, a short intervals is essential. But that, those intervals depend on the, the, your environment arid versus human environments. One of the problems uh, uh, that we have to address, particularly in the hum more humid environments, uh, is that selective grazing, where animals will uh, selectively graze certain uh, grasses, individual grasses and species, because they, they are allowed to graze at low densities, they will selectively graze. So in a humid environment like you would get in parts of Latin America and parts of Africa, you can, you're only utilizing half your grass. By the end of the uh, dry season, if it hasn't been burnt, you've still got half the grass left because you couldn't utilize it. 
So we have to have these high densities to be able to utilize that. And in those environments, you can double your stocking rate immediately. The biggest, the biggest problem we have with this system of grazing is that we don't have enough cattle. The cattle you can't just go and pick up, you have to buy. So that is a challenge, but it's a nice challenge to have. So the other thing with the, what we do with animals' hooves, animals, cattle have been created with hard hooves, not to compact the soil, but to break the soil. If you put them in an area for a long period of time and they travel, walk around and they graze, they will compact the soil. But if you put them in an area for a very short period of time, they have the opposite effect. They break up the soil surface and they allow more water to go in and they aerate the soil. And that's how you increase the fertility of the soil. So it becomes, it's just, you have to practice this to understand how beneficial it is.